If you want to become a Microsoft 365 engineer or Microsoft 365 administrator or Microsoft 365 consultant, then keep watching this video. Hi, I'm Kami and welcome to the new to Microsoft 365 channel. I'm currently a Microsoft 365 consultant, but I have been a Microsoft 365 engineer for over two years. Now, when you look online and you're trying to find a roadmap or a certification path, for becoming a Microsoft 365 engineer or a Microsoft 365 admin, it is quite hard and difficult to actually come up with anything. Unlike if you wanted to be a particular type of cloud engineer. So for example, Azure infrastructure engineer, you know, Azure network engineer, Azure DevOps engineer. There are quite clear paths for those roles, but not a clear proper path for trying to become a Microsoft 365 engineer, admin, or consultant. So hopefully this quick video shows you a path towards those roles. And don't forget to like the video, share, and subscribe to my channel. Right, let's get into it. In terms of a certification path that I would go down or advise others to go down, at the start of it has to be the Microsoft 365 Fundamentals certification, the MS900. That will help you understand some of the products and services within Microsoft 365 Cloud, as well as licensing and a few of the cloud concepts. Now, after that, you may think, OK, so what do I do now? What other certifications should I do? Well, this is where it depends. So just like when you're going for Azure type roles where you can be a network engineer, you can be a DevOps engineer, you can be an infrastructure engineer, Microsoft 365 roles are kind of similar. The only difference is you will be still mainly a Microsoft 365 engineer, but with a particular specialism. So for example, I could be a Microsoft 365 engineer with a specialism in Intune with device management. I could also be a Microsoft 365 engineer with a specialism in Microsoft compliance, which would be purview. And so once you understand this, then you kind of can figure out what type of certifications that you should do next after the fundamentals of the MS-900. If you wanted an overall certification to be a well-rounded Microsoft 365 engineer without getting any other certs, then I would say to get the SC300, the Identity and Access Administrator. This would be also good if you wanted to focus on identity protection and access. If you wanted to be a Microsoft 365 engineer with a specialism in device management and in Intune, then the MD102 would be the certification that you would do. Next, if you wanted to focus on Microsoft compliance and data governance, then I would look into Purview. And the specific certification I'll tell you to do is the SC400, which is the Information Protection and Compliance Administrator. If you wanted to be a Microsoft 365 engineer with a heavy emphasis on security, then that's when I would say for you to do the SE200, the Security Operations Analyst. Finally, if you wanted to focus on collaboration within Teams and everything that comes around that when it comes to OneDrive and SharePoint, then I would say do the MS700, which is the Teams Administrator. So you can see from these different certifications that there's different paths that you can go down. And within the job market, you will definitely see roles that will be, you know, Microsoft 365 engineer with a specialism for purview, for example. So definitely look at those different areas within the Microsoft 365 cloud. Definitely look at those different certifications and decide what path you want to go down. Hopefully this video has helped you understand a little bit more about the different paths that you can go down when trying to become a Microsoft 365 engineer, admin or consultant. And if you do need help with the start of your certification journey with the MS-900, I've got a video out explaining and showing how I passed the MS-900 myself within just two weeks. Again, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time.